Welcome to the project demonstration of ultrasonic sensor based blind stick with GPS uh, and SMS alerting using GSM module. So it has a features like a soil moisture sensor to detect the water content. When the person is moving it will detect the uh, like water content and provide us the buzzer. Along with obstacle detection using this ultrasonic sensor which will detect the obstacles. If that is less than the 45 centimeters, it will provide the buzzer alerts. And when the person need of emergency, need of help, then he or she has to press the switch. Then the system will send the message alerts to the registered phone number. And that particular SMS consists, the particular SMS consists of a location of this particular person. And that location will be getting from this GPS module. And for demonstration purpose only, we are using LCD display in real time. The LCD display won't uh, work, uh, no need of this LCD display also. And the next is RF remote. So whenever the person is trying to find this blind stick, the person should have this RF uh, remote with him uh, every time. And when he want to find this blind stick, then just press the switch on by connecting the 9 volts battery then it will provide as a buzzer alert. So coming to the buzzer, so as we are discussing for uh, obstacle detection and emergency alerts and the moisture sensor and RF as well as darkness detected. So using this LDR sensor we are going to use the LDR for darkness detection then also we will get the buzzer but in order to uh, differentiate these alerts we are keeping the time based alerting. For example if the uh, obstacle detected it will on for 2 seconds RF 500 millisecond moisture 100 millisecond LDR at the low time. So like that we are differentiating the sounds based on the respective sensor abnormalities. So here we have interfaced the, all these inputs and outputs to the UNO board. Coming to the input sensors in our project, moisture sensor interface at the pin number A0, 10, pin number 10 for the switch and pin number uh, 11 and 12 for this ultrasonic sensor, 13th pin for the buzzer, RF pin for the A1, LDR, uh, A0, uh, A1, A2 and the next GSM module interface at the pin number 8 and 9 and 0 and 1 for this GPS module, pin number 2 to 7 for this 16 by 2 LCD screen and these are the main input and outputs module in our project and uh, coming to the modules, this Arduino Uno board, RF receiver module which will provide the input signal based on RF transmitter module output, this one is a GPS module along with uh, GPS antenna and this one is a buzzer board and along with the transistor to switch on the buzzer, LCD board along with the driver and the <coughs> ultrasonic sensor and the emergency switch and this one is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply which is getting from the battery. So we are connecting 5 volts here and parallelly distributing that throughout the input and output modules and back side of this we have placed the LDR and the 2600 milliamp per hour 3.7 volts battery and this one is a GSM module. So here uh, before demonstration the very first step is we should keep the battery under full charge. For charging of this battery we have provided the charger just connect the C type at this slot. Here we can see the radial indication, indication of battery is charging. Once the battery is fully charged, then the blue light will get switched on. So it will take maximum of one hour, minimum of one hour time. So before demonstration of the project, keep the battery under full charge. And this one is boost converter as the operating voltage of our whole system is 5 volts. So the battery voltage is 3.7 volts. In order to boost that 3.7 to 5 volts, you are using this boost converter. And the next step is, first step, keep the battery under full charge. Next step, insert a valid SIM card. Better to use the Airtel we should have the SMS balance or main balance. So this push to lock and push to unlock. So it's a lock now, it's just unlocked. So keep it in lock position. And third step is keep the kit under the sky view. As if it's raining, so we can't demonstrate it's outside. So the outside purpose is to get the GPS exact location. So if you are demonstrating this project under the roof without any sky view, the GPS won't get the location. So it will provide us the zero zero values. So like this, the system will provide us the SMS alerts. As of now, it's showing the 00, zero as it doesn't have the satellite vision for this GPS module. So the third step is keep the kit under the sky view. Then once the GPS get the signal, then there is a light indication on this GPS module. This is the LED indication will blinks. Okay. So now let us see the demonstration. Oh, this is the on off switch for the kit. So switch on the kit and wait. 
till the GSM SIM card get the signal. So that indication will be done after 10 seconds of duration. For the confirmation, just make a call to the SIM card. After 10 to 15 seconds waiting time, just call to the SIM card. And just call to the SIM card. So you are getting ring, right? Right, once you get the ring, disconnect the call. Then reset the system. So if you didn't get the call like uh, unable to connect the number then just unplug and uh, uh, plug the same sim card or else change the sim card after got the signal only reset the unibol reset yeah. right so we can see the input also here now connect the rf right now everything is normal So we can see the respected sensor output on LCD also. This is only for demonstration process of tracking. Okay. And LDR. So you just closing the LDR. So you can get the LDR beeps. The beep variation we can observe that. And coming to the RF. If the person wants to try to find this band stick. So LDR is coming now. Right. Now it's, everything is normal. So it sits on the RF. A boy is the RF. Or if you can see on the LCD also off, okay. And next, coming to the moisture content, just dip this sensor inside the water. So you can see the water LCD on the LCD. So it's a water BP, okay. And next, we know the person need of emergency. Just press and hold this switch till it will display the emergency. So now the system is sending the message alerts to the registered phone number. Right. So we got the message alert now. I need help. Image. So and so location is by clicking on this, we can directly get the uh, this person live location on the Google Maps whenever it is showing the exact live location. Instead of showing 00, zero it has to show uh, 17 point uh, latitude values and 78 point latitude values. Same values displayed here also LCD screen. So before pressing this emergency switch, you should check this LCD values along with GPS LED indication when these two are showing the exact location values then we press the switch then the live location will be returned from this SMS